One thing to note that this is a 4x4 post, so it's not going to work out too well for the installation because I want to be able to get two screws into the hose reel. I don't think that's going to be very secure. We're going to be pulling on it, we're going to be twisting it this way and twisting it to the right side as well. So I'm going to need to pad out this post a little bit. I've got a couple of 2x4s that I'm going to attach at the right height. The two holes at the top where you attach this bracket to the post, they are four and a half inches on center. So you need something that's at least four and a half inches wide. So you're gonna need a six by six. The hose in here is 115 feet long and is a 13 mil hose. So half inch, give or take. And it also comes with this piece here so you can attach it to your spigot. Just bear that in mind, if you're gonna be putting this somewhere where you don't have a spigot, you're gonna to have to run a hose right pipe from here to your spigot. And that's what we're gonna to have to do too. It does come with a quick disconnect. So you can attach this to your spigot or wherever you're gonna be hooking it up to and then you can easily attach it and take it off. It has the same thing on the other end too, where you're gonna be using the hose ends and stuff like that. I, make, I just wanna make sure that I'm not gonna land right on the joint there. So I wanna make it four and a half. So I'm gonna go right here. Once I figured out where the hose reel was gonna sit, I pre-drilled one hole with a quarter inch drill bit. Now we're gonna try and put this on by myself. And uh, I think this could be a little bit tricky. This thing's at least a 25, 30 pound reel. I was unable to drive the lag bolt in with my impact wrench. There is a set screw that you can remove to take the reel off of the bracket, but I couldn't get the set screw undone, so that's why I mounted it as one unit. It would definitely be a lot easier if I could get that set screw undone and mount it separately. I then pre-drilled the other two holes on the bracket with a quarter inch drill bit and drove the two lag bolts in. What is nice about this is you can rotate it 180 degrees, so if we do need to water the front yard, we can pull the hose that way. Now if we need to go all the way down to the very bottom of our yard, we can turn it this way, and this hose pipe can reach all the way to the bottom, so if I am sprinkling the bottom of my yard, I can hook a sprinkler up to this and have it down there. I don't have to worry about leaving the hose out all the time. And because I decided to mount my hose reel so far away from my faucet, I had to get creative on how I was going to get water to the hose reel, so I ran a hose along the side of my house and through the flower bed. Overall, very happy with this hose reel. If you do have a second pair of hands, it'll make that install a little bit easier. 